Um, well, formally, formal practice, you know, I think you want to set up something that you, you can do. I remember when I first started practicing, I decided I was going to do an hour per day. And my friend and I would sit down, and he could sit like a full lotus position, and he would sit there for an hour, and I would be like dying after about five minutes. Um, and so I would say, well, I'll do two hours tomorrow to make up for <laughs> today. And of course, by the end of the week, I, I owed like seven hours. And then, I was, then it was too daunting, and I couldn't do it. So basically, what you want to do is set up a time that, that you think you can do. And then you're better off doing that every day and then increasing that time than setting too high of a goal and not being able to do it and then saying, oh, I can't do this. So I think, you know, 20 minutes is probably something really doable to start. Um, and then go up from there. What's really important is, you know, we have this like-dislike meter in our mind. And everything that, everything that we experience gets a gets a rating right mm -hmm. every single thing and it's it's going all the time and so it definitely gets enhanced when we sit and so or or before we sit even when it's you know five o'clock in the morning and the alarm clock goes off it really like the dislike thing goes off the richter scale right <laughs> And we start thinking of the reasons why I'm not going to get up and bow. Why am I not going to get up and sit? Right? And you just, that's just your chatter that's going to do it anyway, but your body just goes. So the important part is to do it, to do it every day. And that's re really a lot of the power is just doing that, and then you get to see what happens. So you are now in the driver's seat, and you're, you're in charge of your thoughts and your feelings and your condition rather than it being the other way around. And, you know, if you're new at practice, this is the best place to come, a place like this. It doesn't have to be the Cambridge Zen Center. It could be any of the other centers around here. I particularly like this one. But um, as long as you're with a group, it's going to help you um, and support you, and your practice will grow faster.